Good morning, everybody. Can you hear me okay? Super, thank you. Um, then I'll, I will begin. Thank you, Paul. Um, good morning, everybody. My name is Spencer Young. Um, I'm the Regional Vice President of EMEA at Imperva. Um, I have never presented as, a, as an avatar before. And um, I have to say, having been doing this for 30 years, I probably should have spent more time on the in the wardrobe section of the 3D world. Um, but I do definitely need to know where I can buy a, a real pair of the, uh, the Union Jack shoes that if you can see my avatar by the side of the 3D stage um, I'm wearing. I really appreciate everyone taking the time to join this presentation today. Um, I'm sure everyone's gonna have a very informative and very thought provoking couple of days thanks to Softprom's very innovative virtual event. Um, I have to say they've done an amazing job at setting this all up um, and they're really leading the way in how we communicate and engage during these very different, you know, different times. Um, so I'd like to thank all at Softprom for giving me and for giving Imperva the opportunity to speak with you this morning. So for the next sort of 15 minutes or so, I'm going to talk a little bit about Imperva, um, but I'm really going to be focusing on the specific business issues we solve for our customers and our partners and how we uniquely help them to secure their data and their applications. So for the far, for the, let just move this on. For the last 18 months or so, I keep seeing presentations where people talk about data is the new oil. Well, actually, in reality, it is far more valuable than that. If, if you're in a business that relies on data for competitive advantage, to service your customers, secure new ones, keep uh, employees safe and, and attract and retain talent to manage your whole supply chain, your finances, your payroll, or make life and death healthcare decisions, data is much, much more valuable than oil. In fact, it really is a currency that for so many of our customers is the critical element that runs their businesses. And when you think about what bad actors and hackers are actually after, they want access to data. It's how they monetize their theft and their business disruption activities. And over the last few years, what we've seen at Imperva has been that application and data security have become much more intertwined. We certainly see that um, when I look at our customers who have initially invested in data security, for example, with us, and then they've added application security later on. And a large driver for that is that so many companies continue to move workloads and sensitive information into the cloud. They're also under continued increasing pressure to meet regulatory requirements for audit, compliance, and they're also expected to deploy applications faster into production. And there's a lot of vendor fragmentation that, that uh, hasn't helped either. Um, you know, we've, through our own surveys, realized that it takes on average about 72 days to remediate a data breach, which in the world of GDPR, for example, you know, is simply not good enough. We need to be able to find these things much faster. And perhaps the most interesting statistic that I've seen recently is that application and API abuse um, is now really the, becoming the primary vector for data access with 1.3 billion breached records in 2019. Now, if we think a little bit about the paths to the data that, that people are looking to take, this is a very normal, you know, information security teams manage, you know, data flow risk models like this uh, all the time. If you look inside your organization, you're managing the network, um, the business logic, which is obviously in the form of, of applications, APIs, microservices, and of course the data. Now I'm not going to go deep on each of these threats or, or entities, but it is interesting to see newer types of issues, such as if you're managing with microservices, east-west risk, or very unique kinds of lateral movement that we see with privileged access by insiders and even sophisticated bad bots at, at the edge. And at each end, you'll see here, you've got outsider and insider threats, um, which can take the form of humans um, and automated scripts, um, both of which can be either malicious um, or simply careless and compromised. But ultimately, these people are trying to get access to data that's got value, you know, either directly from databases or indirectly through compromised business logic. And in the midst of all of this, 
Our customers are going through, or likely going through, an IT transformation where they're moving a lot of workloads over to the cloud. So our customers have told us for a long time that they really need a security partner that can support and scale with them, especially as they go on their cloud and digital transformation journeys. They told us that you know they need flexibility to be able to cover traditional on-premise and also now new cloud workloads. Um, I haven't met a single customer in the last 18 months who truly knows you know, how long it's going to take them to get through their, their cloud and digital transformations. And they've all told us that they want that ability to be able to pivot based on business needs, not necessarily what technology and what cloud services dictate. We see they also want to reduce this increasingly heavy burden of costs of non-compliance that are associated with um, ever-growing industry and government legislation. And at the same time, rapid time to value uh, is a must. Um, you know, customers and, and businesses need to innovate to grow their business. They need to delight their customers. They want to deliver shareholder and employee value. And coupled with that is the need to integrate security into DevOps workflows, for example. So they can deploy new applications and new versions to existing applications much faster with much greater confidence that they're going to be secure. And then if we think about protecting data and all the paths to it, our focus at Imperva for probably the last 18 years has always been to protect our customers' data and all the ways to get access to it. And, and when I say, you know, all those paths, I really mean all the ways you can access data via a network, via applications, via APIs, direct access, privileged access, and, and obviously much more. And as you'll see a little later on, you know, after listening very carefully and collaborating with our customers, we've now built a platform focused approach to how we protect this information from the edge all the way to, to where that data happens to be stored. I'd like to share a couple of, of uh, statistics, only two statistics in, in the presentation, you'll be pleased to know. The, the first one is to give you a scale of the kind of volume and the size of attacks that our customers see every day, every week, every month. In just April this year, we stopped more than 18 billion attacks against our customers. And that was for our cloud WAF alone, we inspected probably more than 1.1 trillion requests. And these numbers show a rise in attacks, uh, especially with bot driven attacks as hackers take really take advantage of the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic with so many workers now being at home and with the rise in, in online shopping, for example, and just general increase in web activity. And, and these numbers come from um, our what we call our cyber threat index. Um, if anybody's interested, you can find that on imperva.com. But the cyber threat index, and that, this was created by our Imperva Research Lab. And we calculate this index based on data that we gather from all of Imperva sensors across the world. And that includes over 25 monthly petabytes of network traffic that goes through our CDN, about 30 billion monthly web application attacks. And that's across about a trillion HTTP requests that are analyzed by our web application firewall service. And this index really is like a high level monthly report and, and a measurement of what the cyber threat landscape looks like across data and apps. Um, and it just gives an easy to understand score of, of what we see um, you know, consistently over time. And we look at the trends as well. And, and that data is also broken down by industry and by country um, to give you, you know, further analytics and insights. Um, it is proprietary to Imperva, but we have made it available free. Um, so please have a look on imperva.com if you'd like some more information there. The second statistic is how we save our customers time. And, and across our customers, we, we've saved around 4 million work hours by helping them with our actionable insights that they get from our attack analytics and data risk analytics capability. When we think about the new normal, when it comes to work, you know, being able to save time and be more efficient with security alerts isn't just a nice to have, it really is paramount. Um, and these analytics and insights, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a second, just allows security professionals to be able to focus on the things that really matter, the high risk alerts by priority, 
instead of simply just wading through millions of alerts and only analyzing on average around 1% of, of the alerts that a SOC team, for example, would, would receive. So as I said, those are the only two key statistics um, that I'll go through. So our response you know, to how we're trying to help in collaboration with our customers is we have built together with them the world's first and only world-class multi-cloud platform that now protects the edge applications and data from attack. And when I use the phrase multi-cloud, you know, I refer to on-premise, um, private cloud, as well as, you know, cloud service infrastructures run by the likes of Google, Amazon, and Microsoft. And one thing we certainly see as more of our customers embrace cloud, some are absolutely adopting a, an approach and a strategy where they are spreading the workload across at least more than one of those providers. Our latest data shows us that about 50% of companies actually intend to use more cloud vendor, you know, more than one cloud vendor as they embark on the transformation. So for Imperva, that translates into building solutions that can just run anywhere and integrate with as many ecosystem security, cybersecurity technologies as possible. And our customers demand that from us. They want tight integrations into their security ecosystems. And that includes even working with technologies that in the past we may have even considered competitive, you know, rather than perhaps complementary. So let's take a little look at, at the actual platform itself that we've built. Um, here we go. So we think of our platform really across three major pillars. You know, there's the edge and then there's application and then there's data. On the edge side, you know, edge security for us includes DDoS protection, CDN, and these are really our solutions that protect the outside world from doing harm to our customers, to their organizations. Those application security capabilities um, include web application firewall, uh, runtime application self-protection, advanced bot protection, which as I said earlier, we're seeing an awful lot more of advancement in and, and more attacks, and then attack analytics for, for insights. And these are the products really that protect the most critical workloads um, that exist. And then on the right-hand side, we have data security, which includes database activity monitoring, cloud data security, which is another world first and unique for Imperva, and then data discovery and assessment, which is really where we help customers find and secure critical data, and then the data risk analytics. And those products are the ones that our customers use to protect their most valuable information, right? That we already know is, is more valuable than, than oil. And when we overlay our platform on the data flow risk model we looked at earlier, you can see that we have a unique ability to be able to monitor for and protect against all manner of bad behavior across the entire environment. So we can stop bad traffic coming into the network and applications, so kind of outside in, if you will. We protect the applications and their dependencies, uh, which is more inside out. And we also protect the data, and it's not just the data, but how that information itself is being accessed. And as I said earlier, we've tried to make that, you know, those products portable and flexible enough to be able to run on premise and in the cloud. Now, we went a little further with that in terms of, of our customers speaking to us about the fact that they need the flexibility to be able to migrate to cloud under their digital transformations at a pace and a speed that suits their business. Um, we then built out a commercial capability uh, with a single license cost uh, for regardless of where the data or the application resides. So thousands of our customers now enjoy being able to migrate across on-premise and cloud environments um, without essentially having to pay twice or having to worry about the costs of license management, et cetera, as they undertake their cloud initiatives. So I'll briefly move on now to highlight kind of three different areas of how the components of this platform actually work together. The first one is really, you could probably sum it up as our application security defense in depth. And in this case, what we're looking for is to make sure that web application firewall and runtime application self-protection can work together for the first time to protect traffic that comes into applications and the application behavior itself. 
And what this also does is it, for the first time again, brings together AppSec teams and DevOps teams to be able to collaborate so that they can enable much quicker application deployment in a secure but very compliant way. And then when you connect the WAF and the RASP event data and telemetry with attack analytics on the right, you can not only see better insights into what's going on, but you have a very unique way to now orchestrate and push new policies and rules that, that are based on real world events. For example, if RASP sees and stops an attack, you'll get that insight um, as an alert, and then you have the ability to quickly build a policy that will block that specific traffic right at the edge. And our customers have, have told us very frequently that this kind of approach is really helping them to save some time and resource, and most importantly, it helps them to be a lot more proactive when they think about application security. The second element um, is really around what we call actionable insights. I've mentioned it a few times already, but it's important to note that actionable insights aren't just simply alerts, um, that they're not adding more noise to security teams that are already alert, fatigued, and have very high workloads. Um, these are real policy-based and machine learning and AI-based insights that look at real high-risk incidents that we know will require investigation. And those security teams are presented with what we call attack narratives, you know, that they can act on very quickly with confidence. And this specific example is from a real world customer. Um, it is a large financial services customer. Unfortunately, I, for confidentiality, I can't name them, but they're a very well known financial services brand. Um, and they ended up after implementing Imperva, you know, reducing uh, the amount of SIM noise substantially in their environment. They saved around about 144 work hours every day. They went from investigating 10% of the alerts that they saw to 100% of the, of the incidents based on those actionable insights. And they discovered six very real significant potential issues uh, once they had undertaken their initial deployment. So the customer response to that, you know, from an actionable insights perspective has been that we help them reduce the amount of noise they have to sift through. We save them very tangible work hours that allows their security teams to focus on innovation, focus on more business as usual type activities, and, you know, allow the companies themselves to focus and address real risk rather than trying to look for that, that needle in a haystack. And then thirdly, and, and this is an area that is entirely unique to Imperva. The third area our customers, that in, when they invest in our entire platform, they receive a capability that we call user to data tracking. And what it does is it really weaves together all of our solutions to help, you know, or to understand how to track a user traversing the network through applications and it, who is accessing data. And in the diagram, we show how WAF, RASP, Dan and, and the insights all work together. So we can help customers very quickly answer key questions like who's accessed the data? Uh, what was that data sensitive that was accessed? How many records were, were accessed? And then where, where did it all go? Um, and that kind of capability is really only possible when you have a, a single platform where everything is automated and integrated together. And from a development perspective, from a product roadmap, you know, you can expect to see a lot more of these capabilities as we integrate some of our other emerging technologies across the, the three pillars that I talked about earlier. So it's very easy, and I'm sure lots of people on this, you know, who are here today, you know, have heard of, of vendors saying that they are market leading and then every vendor will say that, but how do we prove that? Well, we, we are very proud that every leading analyst in, in the cybersecurity space has agreed and validated pretty much that we are a leader across all of our portfolio offerings in how we help our customers to solve their data and application issues. For Web Application Firewall, for example, we're the only vendor that has been um, for six years in a row in the top right-hand quadrant of, of the Gartner Magic Quadrant for WAF. For our runtime application self-protection solution, we're the only market leader um, in that space. For DDoS, uh, we are a four times leader uh, in Forrester Wave. And then for bot protection, you know, we've been a leader for the last two years 
Um, and we're very proud of that. From a data security perspective, there isn't really a wave or, or an MQ, but for, for many years, we've been considered a leader in, in Gartner's DCAT report, for example, data centric um, audit protection. And we were just one of four vendors who they believe covered all the required capabilities for a true data centric audit protection security solution. So we believe we're recognized as best of breed, but also I think when you put the pieces together, we're truly becoming best of, of platform. Um, and I'm always asked, it's probably the fourth question I'm asked in most meetings I have with our prospective customers is, who do you compete with? And, and I think now, if I look at our platform, the answer is very simple. Um, it's no one. And there is no other single vendor that, that has this platform capability or the pedigree across data and application security and analytics. Um, but to show that a little further, let's just take a look at that in a little more detail. So we built this out really just to show how, as a single platform provider now, how we compare to the, the sort of main vendors that offer point-based solutions. And as you can see, as I said, you know, there, there is no other vendor that can cover the breadth and depth that we have. But the key point here really is that, you know, our customers tell us that when they implement across all of those capabilities, they have huge cost efficiencies through reducing the number of vendors they have in their portfolios. You know, we have a, a major banking client in Europe who has over 124 individual security vendors in their ecosystem. And their CISO would love to be able to reduce that down to a number of manageable technologies in that portfolio. So being able to reduce the number of vendors in the portfolio has been a benefit for them. They see a lot of ease of integration and automation within data and application security when they invest with a single provider. And last but not least, they all enjoy the fact that there is a single commercial and licensing capability with what we call our Flex, Flex Protect licensing, um, which makes it very easy for them to add new components as they start to you know, invest in different capabilities um, when they think about application and, and data security. So, one other key area is our customers are very demanding that we integrate within their ecosystem. So we spend a lot of time building out a number of partnerships and alliances and, and integrations to try and help facilitate that. Um, as I said earlier, every, every CISO I meet is very, very clear that, that they believe that all of us in the security industry, all vendors should spend more time focusing on how we integrate better together to help them as customers and end users, rather than focusing on our own technology and existing in a, in a vacuum. So our products, they integrate with NoSQL, big data stores developed by people like Mongo and Cloudera. We integrate with the biggest SIM players like Splunk uh, and Elastic, DevOps technologies like Terraform, SOAR platforms like um, Demisto, for example, and Phantom, and many, many more. And, and if anybody would like to see the complete list, that again is available on, uh, on imperva.com. We're also very proud to partner with, as customers, some of the world's leading brands. You'll see here 33 of the top 50 banks in the world, eight of the top 10 telecom providers. Some of those we're very proud to have, you know, in places like Russia, Poland, for example, uh, seven of the top 10 global financial services firms. And we really try and focus on helping them deliver against the positive business outcomes that they need to grow their businesses. And we try and make sure that we enable the required capabilities that they need to secure their applications and data and allow them to focus on what they do best, you know, innovation, delighting their customers and delivering that customer and shareholder value. And the core values we deliver, you know, the three areas where Imperva believes it adds value over anything else is that we, as I've said earlier, we help enable those business transformations help our customers to mitigate security risk, and then help them reduce the costs of non-compliance. And that really is, you know, what all I had to really talk to you about this morning. I'd like to thank everyone for attending. Thank you again to Softprom for organizing such an innovative and, and thought-provoking event. I'm sure you'll have a great, you know, rest of the two days. If you have any questions, um, Please visit the team at our virtual booth 
Um, I went there yesterday when I was doing some preparation and had a look around our own stand virtually, which was a brand new experience for me. Um, but our team are all available over the next two days to answer any questions that you have. Um, and with that, thank you very, very much for your time.